Hi and welcome to Andretel Chemistry Course Integration. Um, for my part of the uh, lecture, I will be focusing on instrumental methods of analysis. So Mr. Gaetano will be covering uh, the classical part of analytical chemistry. Now for this, uh, well, our first attempt uh, to do some uh, pre-recorded online lectures okay uh, we chose uh, we chose YouTube so that um, you can access it more readily okay since uh, it will only require a few bandwidth no? or a lesser bandwidth compared to zoom or uh, other uh, online uh, online platforms okay um, I will be conducting the lecture in English, but of course, I, ca I will also be uh, emphasizing some points in Filipino uh, as I see it fit. Okay. Alright, so all of us are quite new with this uh, online kind of uh, class setup. But nonetheless, uh, let's make do of what we have. Sayang naman din, no? Uh, sayang yung oras na maandar. And uh, we have this technology uh, in front of us, okay? So, some guidelines, alright, for this um, online class. So, again, uh, this uploaded in YouTube. I will be uh, posting the link in our uh, Facebook page, no? Facebook group, okay? So, some guidelines. First, Use the lecture videos along with handout and recommended textbooks. All right. In the next slide, I will show you um, some of the recommended textbooks. I already uploaded ebook copies no, of these textbooks of, or the textbook that I'm using, uh, but it's not limited to those. No, so you, you can use uh, other analytical chemistry textbooks such as that of uh, Gary Christian or. Uh, Harvey, uh, yung modern analytical chemistry, okay, or other textbooks no sa analytical chemistry. We also have the handout, so the powerpoints I'll be showing here are all based on the handouts that I provided you, no? Uh, I posted it a long time ago sa sa Facebook group, so I hope you were able to print. Uh, copies of that no so that you can also uh, write no doon sa inyong uh, uh, margins no or doon sa mismong handout okay uh, it is important that when you're trying to learn something that you try to engage all of your senses all right so yung visual audio uh, tactile which is your writing no? so the more senses uh, there is, uh, uh, or the more senses that is involved in creating memories, no, and in my education, no, you're, you're just creating memories also and store it in your brain, no, the more likely that it will be stick, uh, that it will, it will stick then sa mind natin, okay? Yeah, so, uh, as much as possible, you do right, no, as I, as I do the lectures uh, in these videos. Again, uh, uh, one of the advantages of uh, this online setup is that you can study at your own pace. So you don't need to hurry. Alright? Macboards, uh, we will be scheduling Macboards uh, a few weeks before the uh, deadline of, deadline for registration no, with PRC. So that that's uh, the time frame we're looking at. So that's around... Uh, mid August, siguro, no? So you don't need to rush things, okay? Okay, so you can uh, watch our uh, videos uh, as frequently as you like, no? If, if you want to uh, relearn uh, some points discussed here, okay? Um, long exams, no? We will be giving long exams uh, online. Um, these uh, long exams will not be graded, all right. So there's no, uh, it, it will not be graded. It's just for you to assess yourselves, no, 
uh, kung gaano na kayo ka ka bihasa no dun sa topic na uh, dali discuss natin dito no so as you can see there will be unlimited chances for retakes no and this is also for us to see no the progress that you're making uh, also every after modules uh, will be uh, uh, adding some self assessment exercises all right so the answers for those uh, self assessment uh, Uh, questions or tests will come out on the next uh, module video. Alright? So, para ma-check nyo yung, yung uh, progress ninyo, no? Doon sa particular uh, module na ito. Okay? Also, uh, we will be having Q&A sessions, no? Now, uh, we're going to do Q&A sessions, uh, live Q&A sessions, Uh, using two modes, either through uh, video conferencing, either using the FB uh, group messenger or Zoom, or if everyone uh, would prefer it, we can make do with group messaging na lang, no? Viber or Hangouts, no? Whichever is more uh, accessible to the majority of the uh, class members, okay? What I want to encourage is that Please post questions in the group, no? Do sa group me at sa ating uh, group messaging, no? Uh, so that everyone can uh, see the questions and everyone can benefit doon sa aking pagsagot doon sa questions na iyon. Alright? So, uh, please avoid uh, sending me uh, private uh, messages, no? Or private questions, no? Better, no? On a... Uh, we post the questions online or maybe we could uh, post you, you can post your questions sa FB group mismo no so that i can uh, answer it there directly all right so sa klasing ito pantay-pantay tayo okay uh alisin natin yung hiya no? hindi nakakahiyang magtanong okay mas nakakahiya yung uh, nagpapanggap ka na walang tanong No, or na naiintindihan no so better na kung hindi naiintindihan yung isang bagay please uh, let us know okay so that we can uh, do something about it all right and then lastly okay and this is important uh, face to face refresher classes will be conducted once allowed by the school and the government and this is for free all right there is a chance that the uh, Mac board examination will be given um, before before classes resume no at Adamson all right so whether or not we you, you take you, you already took the Mac board exam or not we invite you all right to attend this uh, free refresher classes uh, this would be similar perhaps dun sa uh, pre board Uh, classes that we usually conduct no uh, after graduation no but since you know na medyo nagulo yung schedule natin no? makapag-isahin nila ang yun all right so again no uh, these are the references for our uh, instrumental analysis uh, class so all of these were uploaded na no? sa sa Facebook group natin Alright, so again, you're not limited uh, with these uh, references, okay? So you can use other books, no? Such as that of uh, Robinson, uh, Harvey, uh, Christian, Galen Ewing, no? So those are also good books in analytical chemistry. Okay, um, the content of the modules, by the way, are... Uh, hindi limited no yung board exam dun sa content ng modules no so again i encourage you to also read the corresponding chapters uh, per topic no in the module doon sa mga textbooks na binigay ko sa inyo no uh, per sla per module i will be providing the chapter number okay uh, corresponding to the lesson Uh, discussed for that module. 
so the module will follow or sorry the, the video lectures will follow the uh, sections no, in the module so first we're going to discuss part 8 uh, spectroscopic methods of analysis followed by chromatographic methods then your electroanalytical methods electroanalysis um, part 11 <coughs> will focus on the calculations no? or the data analysis uh, part of uh, instrumental analysis no? so in parts 8 to uh, 10 will focus more on the concepts and yung calculations which most of you i believe eh, uh, takot no? or you, you have some uh, apprehensions no with calculations is in a separate module and the reason for this and i always emphasize uh, this one during my classes is that the computations required for instrumental analysis are all the same whether you're dealing with spectro chroma or electroanalytical they are all the same no uh, you just need to be able to identify whether they are uh, using external standards method or the standard addition method or the so-called um, internal standard method no? so as long as you can identify which technique was used okay the computations should be easy okay mas mahirap pa ang calculation ng phi chem no or even gen chem no compared sa uh, instrumental analysis so madali lang ang computations ng instrumental analysis okay Part 12, this is new. Uh, this I think the first time we're going to uh, <coughs> include this no? in CI. No? So this uh, this is on radiochemical uh, methods. No? Every year, lagi itong lumalabas sa board exam. But unfortunately, uh, this is rarely covered by any school Okay, for that matter. No? So we're going to uh, include yung parts lang no? na lumalabas sa board exam on radiochemical methods and then finally uh, we're going to discuss yung figures of merit okay so some uh, points on the concepts of uh, quality assurance uh, this is something that you discussed not only in analytical chemistry but also in your uh, comp app no? in computer applications now we're in we discuss uh, the concepts of uh, quality assurance okay so so for the introduction, okay, and uh, good luck.